on the islands of Lamu, located along Kenya's coast, one tree has for ages symbolized sustainable livelihood. The Lamu archipelago accounts to more than half of Kenya's mangrove forests and various sectors including timber, fisheries, avian, tourism, among other sectors, have something good to talk about this indigenous tree. Historia inazungumza wazi kwamba maeneo ya lamu yalikuja kuwa kwa kupatikana kwa hiyo rasilimali ambayo inaitwa mkoko hata kushinda samaki wenyewe. Na mkoko umechangia pakubwa hizi manyumba ambazo unaziona hapa lamu ambapo mikoko ndio ambayo imebeba yani na kulinda zile rasilimali ambazo ziko kwa bahari. Koko mwanzo ni unatuletea hewa hewa safi. But of late, various natural and man-made factors seem to be conspiring to threaten the survival of the various species of this tree, equally putting lives of the locals at jeopardy. Mojawapo wa uchafuzi wa mazingira. Kama hivi ponde kuna mradi wa bandari Lamu umeaffect kiasi kikubwa cha mikoko. Pia mikoko tumeingia tuakata mingi. Utaona minazi imefariki, miembe imekufa mingi sana. It is a situation that has informed a community-driven campaign to restore the fading mangrove forest where organized young and women groups are in the forefront. The initiative under the umbrella of Save Lamu is roping in the community to spearhead Lamu Island's mangrove forest restoration campaign. Kwa sababu gani tukaika hini mikoko? Kwa sababu mikoko imeanza kupu ngua kwa uharibifu mwingi. Ile miche yetu kisha koma, temi ya mvua ikifika, tunaenda kwa msitu wa mikoko, pamoja na grupi yangu, ambao ni member 13, tukapanda kule kwa mikoko. Kisi kama vijana, tunajiusisha kutengiza mikoko kwanza, tunkuifadhi mazingira. Lamu County government has also stepped in through a policy formulation that saw the birth of a climate change policy and act, which is anticipated to be a catalyst in the mangrove forest reclamation initiative. So, kama serikali ya county, uh, tayari uh, tumeweza kupitisha ama kuweka uh, zile policies ambazo zitaweza kuongoza katika hii mikakati na harakati za kupambana na climate change effects. Na county pia tumeweza kushirikiana na serikali kuu na washikadao wengine kama World Bank ili tuweze kuwezesha county kwa ujumla ikiwa serikali ndani pamoja na communities ili tuweze kuwa na ile capacity ya ku implement uh, hizi climate change adaptation uh, projects uh, at even mitigation projects across in the Lamu mainland, another ecosystem is under threat. Lake Kenyatta, which for years has provided households with daily bread, is crying for attention. Le Kenyata ina tukutanisha pamoja kwa sababu ndiyo chanzo cha uchumi kwa vijana wetu. Vijana hapo ndo wana vua samaki, kasi hapo tunapata mboga ya samaki. Na wakati leki kwa mzuri, vijana wetu wakosi kazi, wanapata uchumi. Na wakati ikiwa mbaya, sote tunawathirika. Ile coverage ya leki ime shrink sana depth ya lake imeshuka sana kiasi ya kwamba pia harakati na shughuli za hawa uh, wanalamu wote ukiwa ni mfugaji ukiwa ni mvuvi uh, ukiwa ni mkulima wote wameathirika kulingana na hii hali vile ilivyobadilika efforts to restore the glory of the lake is underway spearheaded by the local community development partners and the Lamu county government the twin support of the two Lamu's crucial but endangered ecosystem will go a long way in regaining what has been lost over the years and the community will have some gains to reflect back on. Sisi huwa tunaifadhi mazingira mahali hapa 
na pia kama kikundi ambao kinaitwa zirara na tumejaribu kupanda miti ili turudishe mazingira ile ambayo imeadhiriwa na wale watu ambao hawajui umuhimu wa leki